The key to controlling any movement of Versatech product is proper fastening. We recommend using 8D nails or screws with full round heads. A favorite nail used with Versatech is the trifecta nail from Simpson Strong Tie with annular threads. Wire nails, brads, or anything that can be bent in your hand should never be used. The nail should hold a minimum strength of at least 12 gauge. Versatech requires the nail to penetrate a full inch and a half into the substrate. Galvanized nails can be used, but we find stainless steel works best to avoid bleeding, especially if the product is left unpainted. For best results, always fasten at least two inches from the end of the board. Nail guns also work great with Versatech. For best results, a PSI between 80 and 100 is optimal. In colder temperatures, under 40 degrees, this may need to be reduced even further to avoid cracking the product. Versatech can also be adhered with screws. In fact, screws work best to control expansion and contraction and should strongly be considered on long runs with multiple boards. As with nailing, make sure screws are long enough to penetrate a full inch and a half into the substrate. Two and a quarter inch Simpson Strong Tie screws are available with a painted white head to blend nicely with the Versatech trim. All fasteners, whether nails or screws, should be no more than 16 inches on center. As a rule, and best to control movement and ensure stability, the wider the board, the more fasteners should be used. For four inch and six inch wide boards, two fasteners every 16 inches on center is sufficient. For eight and 10 inch boards, increase to three fasteners, and for 12 and 16, four to five fasteners every 16 on center is needed. Fastening Versatech properly using these methods will go a long way toward ensuring that Versatech maintains stability and expansion contraction, which occurs with any PVC product, is severely limited.